today we are going to see what is uh, exactly the meaning of system model and what are the different types of system model so in this session i am going to give you a basic idea about different types of system models and we will discuss few of the two mark questions that will be, be uh, uh, that will be asked from this uh, system models all right so let us see what is a system model okay so basically system modeling is nothing but it is a process of designing the models different types of models so these different types of models will give you an abstract uh, idea about your software so by using this model we will come to know what is exactly our system okay so there are different types of models which will have different types of views towards the software so in short we can say that system modeling it is the process of developing abstract models of a system with the different views it is about representing a system using graphical notations so most of this graphical notations are called as uml that is unified modeling language so when it is asked what is a system modeling you can go for this definition okay some models help us to understand the basic functionality they help uh, using the models we can understand the functionality of the system okay yeah so we will come to know how does our software work and it is also used to communicate with customer so using models of your software the customer can easily understand your software so next they they may ask you what are different perspectives perspectives are nothing but what different views okay so perspectives are nothing but what views <coughs> so models uh, will be having different kinds of perspective first one is external second is interaction structural and behavioral perspective so these are four different types of views or four different types of uh, perspectives depending on which the models are designed so first one we have external perspective so external is nothing but the name itself indicates okay which is related to the environment of the system so external is this model uh, where the context for environment of the system is designed okay so external perspective is all about the context model of the software so this model will represent the overall environment of the system or the factors or the components which are external to the system okay next we have interaction perspective see the name itself indicates interaction means what the, using this model you will come to know who are interacting with your software or you, we will also come to know the components which are interacting in the software so interaction is all about it will show the relationship between the outer world and the software or you can say environment and the system along with the components of the system so basically it will show the interaction between the environment system and its internal component so that perspective is called as interaction perspective okay next we have structural perspective so structural perspective is related about the structure see the name itself indicates structural means what it is related to the structure okay so it is related to the structure of data that is processed by the system so structural it is more detailing which will show the processing of the software so how the data is processed so in this perspective in these type of models we will see the overall working or the process of your software okay then we have behavioral perspective so behavioral perspective is all about what it will show us how your software is going to behave or it represents the dynamic behavior of uh, your software and how it is going to respond to some of the events okay so when an examination they will ask you that what are the different perspectives 
at that time you can go for these four different perspectives so this question is asked for two marks and they have asked what are the different perspectives of models okay or uh, tell me the different model uh, model perspectives okay so there you can go for these four different perspectives okay now as i uh, said to you that each of the model okay each of this model okay is also called as uml so graphical representation of uh, your software comes under unified modeling language okay so depending on that we can see there are some categories okay let me tell you that see it's here so there are five types of uml diagrams okay so basically uh, the uml diagrams falls under these five categories it means we have five types of system model so under these only different types of system model exist okay so list out they may ask you list out different uml diagrams so at that time you can list out these activity diagram use case diagram sequence diagrams class diagrams and state diagram right so these are the different uh, types of uml diagrams right so activity diagram so what do you mean by activity it will tell us that what are the activities going on or how the data is processed right so that's why it will show the relationship between the process okay and how the processing is happening so activity diagram is used to indicate the processing of data so this is just an overview session in the next session i will be explaining each diagram in detail with so many of examples okay then we have second diagram which is called as use case diagrams so use case diagram is used to show the interaction between the system and its environment it means here we show the interaction of the system and the outer environment okay so these are called as use case diagrams sequence diagram so it shows the interaction between the actors and the system and between the system components so sequence so it will show us the overall interaction okay it will show us the overall interaction between the outer world the software and the internal components of the software so these diagrams are called as sequence diagrams okay then we have another type of diagrams which is which are called as class diagrams okay so see all of you being a computer student or a computer related person you should know what is a class right so obviously the class diagrams are used to show the object classes in the system and association between these classes so whatever components are there in your software those are organized in terms of classes and then we try to show the relationship between these classes okay so those kinds of diagrams are called as what class diagrams then we have another type of diagram called as the state diagram okay so state diagrams these show how the system reacts to the internal and external events it means how does it reacts to the particular inputs and outputs okay so this is just an introduction or you can say that this is just an introductory part to explain you few two marks questions okay so here we discussed about what is system modeling i told you uh, what are the functions of system modeling then what are the different perspectives of models and i also told you about the different uh, five types what are the different five types okay of uml diagram so please go through all these two marks questions okay so in the next session we will see more detail till then take care